Hi again, mine fans. Welcome back for part two of the adventures uh, in the mine with Wonder Hussy and Wonder Sister. Um, the response to the last video was shocking, and I really hadn't known that Wonder Sister had never been in a video before, so your response to that blew me completely away. I'm just glad to have her and you know, Sarah out as my friends and neighbors to show them the mine, but y'all want to see more? We're going to see more. But before we do that, do me a favor, uh, throw me a solid here, pause and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, like and subscribe to the video please, uh, that means a lot because that way YouTube throws me more bones and I can use that to fix these mines up, that's where that all goes, and then I can have more mine open for more tours to show you and other people, Yeah, you know, so please hit the like, hit the subscribe, 30,000 people watched the last video, I don't have 30,000 subscribers, Throw me a bone here, eh? Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. That said, we're going to go into part two of the video, show some of the rest of the mine with the uh, our intrepid explorers. And in between, I'm going to narrate a bit, and I'm going to eat my gummies because unlike someone else I could name who's in the video, hint it's not Eliza, I can talk about gummies on my video and not get you know, thrown into YouTube jail. That said... Uh, as you call, when we left off, we'd climbed up some of the uh, ladders up onto the 500 level of the old War Eagle mine, and we're now walking around through the very dusty spaces back in War Eagle there, uh, last worked in the 1950s, and we're going to go through some of this section and see it and get their responses and reactions, and eventually we're going to see if uh, by the end of the video we can't all get out of the mine. So stick around, stay tuned, and hold on to your hats. I am now. Just switched on. So come and examine the ore carts. Wow, the now what happened here oh, was these are old uh, Tacoma Consolidated ore cars with the 18 gauge bases. And Anaconda brought some of their machinery in. We'll see it a little later. And their cars, of course, were basically geared for 24 gauge. So what Anaconda did was they took the wheels and bases off these and then mm. modified their cars there are dumps down the road. Yeah, to I just had a great idea. Be. What's your great idea? Uh, you could have a hot spring resort. And oh my God, that was exactly tubs. my first thought too. And I just oh good, that. these could like, be great hot spring tubs. Yeah, if, you want, if you want to move it. To Copa maybe. hot springs, yeah. Well, where are we going to get the water? You Didn't you say you found a hot well down here? Not a hot well down here. No, I got a well. Oh no, that was Eric Venn. He said he went into some chamber where it was very humid. Like it got super, super humid. That, that's in the Columbia. I know exactly where that's and at. What, is that not because there's a hot well down there? There's some uh, thermal action down there. I don't know where it comes in. Uh, it yeah, doesn't flow in, but it's just very hot and steamy, and it's also 900 feet underground. Well, that's yeah. even better. Yeah, you can have a really Good. cool soak. It's like the Sinotecas. Yes, just yeah. like the Sinotecas. I love those. Yeah? Yep. Okay. When we go to Mexico, I'll show you. Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah, we're supposed oh. to go. Oh, so many plants, so little time. How am I going to go anywhere when I'm trapped underground in this mine? <laughs> you ain't trapped yet. I haven't abandoned you yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, at this point, if you abandon us, I would be Yeah, we're, don't die, Ross. I mean, I'll I mean, try not to. To find my way back, but ooh. I've taken my medicine this morning. Well, no, I haven't, no. uh, but I will when I get out of here. Oh, okay, let's, let's carry on down the drift there. Uh, this way? Yep, that way. Okay, well, you go for it. Go ah, so, as you saw, we, we saw some of the old ore cars left behind you know, 100 years ago by the old Tacopa Company and scavenged for parts by the Anaconda Company that came in later. And we got the girls' wonderful ideas for making a hot springs resort underground. Not uh, the most practical based on the, you know, geology and the proximity of the hot springs to the mines. But boy, it would be fantastic. Wouldn't? Could you imagine a hot spring, you know, five or six or 900 feet underground where it would be an A-ticket resort just in itself. So I'd like to do it. I love their ideas. That said, we took them further on and we went to look at some of the old square set timbering in the mine that was placed again back uh, about 100 years ago. It's a bygone technology. Nobody does square set timbering anymore. My mind's got a fabulous set of it here, and I'm going to show that off and a few other artifacts to the girls, and uh, we're just still having a great time on the ground, and yeah, here we go. Yeah, so now we're back up in the 500 levels square set again, and uh, Eliza and Sarah are suitably impressed. Wow, golly! Can you say holy cannoli again? Because that was kind of cool. Holy cannoli! 
Are those it score is. marks from the ropes you were talking about? Yeah, there, there were cables. There were big, uh, there were slushers back up there, big slushers. scrapers. What's a slusher? It's a scraper blade that would be up there in a cable, and it would come back here and just drag all the the ore out of there and the, the waste nice. rock. And its cable would have run along the bottom of that. And we've got some other wooden dynamite boxes over here we found back in here. Right there, yeah, those two. Yeah, you said don't even breathe on them. No, those, are, those are okay. Oh, those, the wooden ones, yeah. I see. No nitroglycerin residue there. Not as far as you know. Yeah. So, yeah, this stuff was up like three stories in spaces. Wow. Uh, and it's all laid in, uh, mortised in. There's no nails or bolts. Oh. They all just rest on top of each oh, other. And it's it's, it's pure pressure. Thing? Yeah, the, the pressure of the beams holds us all in place. It's... Oh, yeah, hold on. It's, well, because the, the sides are oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. yeah, there's, there's a piece actually right over there that's got the, the end's got a notch on it that uh, stands out. Very interesting. This was craftsmanship. Yeah, this this is a uh, technique used 100 years ago that they do not use anymore. So the miners love to come in here and look at this. I bet they played with Lincoln logs. <laughs> oh, same concept. Just yeah, Lincoln logs for grown ups back in here, or Jenga for keeps again. Yeah. Yeah. Pause. It holds up very well until all of a sudden it doesn't. And the one, when that happens, yeah. Well, we won't go into that. Yeah. Then we got here's another drill bit and shovel head and you know, miscellaneous artifacts so down here. Finding things in here for decades. That's the idea. Yeah, it's a gift that keeps on giving. It is. Every day is like a day, like Christmas in here. Every day is a new I discovery. Asked you that. The first video I made when you took me and Jeepsy down here, I go. And I didn't know you well, but I go, hey, do you feel like a kid on Christmas? And you said, every day. <laughs> you know, I remember that. Yeah. And it's, it's it's never been not true. It just keeps getting That's better and better. wonderful, Ross. I'm glad you found your things. <laughs> yeah, your Christmas. I'm glad you found your Christmas, Ross. Well, thank you. That makes me feel all oh, warm and fuzzy inside. Like you found your Christmas. And my, my heart grew three sizes that day. Oh, oh, don't grow too big. We don't want you. Yeah. Ah! We need to get out of here. You'll find the way out eventually. Oh. Or well, not. Well, I mean, shit. I guess where there's a will, there's a way, maybe. Where there's a will, there's a dead person. Yeah. So come on, let's wander okay. further on through here. So we're going to go back, 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 back. And so some nice wooden dynamite boxes over here that I haven't oh, hauled yeah, out. Yeah, that's cool. Cool, and deeper into the abyss we go. So after about an hour of uh, exploring around on the 500 level, on top of what we did on the lower level, it was time to head on down. Now, at this stage, I'm still working this area fairly new for tours, and my exit of choice was to slide down a stope or an area that where they'd scraped out the ore, and it's basically a big uh, void underground that connects the two levels. It's uh, about a 45 degree angle down, and it drops down for, you know, about 170, 200 feet or so, just sliding down. There, there's no ladder, no steps, no manway. So we're just sliding down on the loose gravel at this point. And I've done it a few times, and I've taken a couple other people on it, but this is the first time I'm taking, you know, folks like, you know, Sarah and Eliza down here. And they were a little bit uh, trepidatious, if I can use that word. But... Uh, the end of the day, they really did it. They they slid right down there like a couple of pros. Uh, Eliza comes zooming down there, setting a new speed record, and they managed to look good doing it. So here you get to watch them slide on down the stope. You didn't get to see me because I was too busy sliding to film, but uh, it just uh, it's again playground for big kids in the dirt. There we go, folks. The intrepid uh, explorers of Tacopa. Sarah and Eliza sliding down this stope on their behinds and so far doing pretty good with it. I ain't doing nothing. I'm down here. You started that slide all by yourself.
Not to rush it, but it's only going to be half an hour video, so let's go. You're doing fine. There's a big rock wall at the bottom to stop you. If you get... You're doing great. Well, I just passed the end of the rope. Now what am I supposed to do? Well, you only got one choice. Keep sliding. Oh, Unless... my God. Okay. Hold on, Elijah. I got to go without the rope for the rest of this. You'll do fine. There's a big rock wall down here to stop you. I don't know. I heard you fall. I meant to do that. Oh, okay. Uh, should she start coming down now? Yeah. Come on, Eliza. Come on, you can do it. I'm coming. Oh, another side of wonder, I see folks, right there. Yeah, three hours. Oh, you gonna start that shit? Ginger or Marianne? Oh, I'm definitely Ginger. You're probably a Hufflepuff, too, figures. Yeah, I'm over here. Slide this way. Should I go to the left? Yeah. I'll go straight down. Yeah, come over towards the left. Oh, my God. How are you going much faster than I was? Oh, I'm just kind of relying on you. Okay. So am I, but it's like... Would you get down here, please? You're supposed to go wee. Wee! Wee! There you go. Oh, Just a little one. Right. I thought I would have come the other way, but you're there now, so. Yeah, I know. Which way were you going to tell me to go? That way? I would have, yeah, but either or. Just, yeah, it's not that big a drop. Just, Just be careful. Put your big girl, girl pants on and come down here. I already have them on. Well done. Well done. A forever. Look at you, looking oh, all professional really? and stuff. Yeah, and look oh, at this man. one. Wow, you went down so much faster than me. Down in half the time with a tenth of the whining. I like this one. Wow, you look like a real whiner, man. I mean, I'm afraid of the stupidest shit, but yeah, somehow this is less scary than you know, calling a well driller. Congratulations. Ah. Congratulations. Well, calling you all two. well drillers, we need help with our well. If it, you are a well driller, well, we, we that's so, we sounds like a deep subject. No, no, we we just need help with the pump. So if anybody knows that stuff, call us. Okay, no more free commercials. We're gonna go that way now. Free. And they made it down, and they lived through it, and a good time was had by all. But as you can see in the next clip here, you get a little dirty. Some of us uh, a little dirtier than others, but uh, that's the mark of a true miner right there, getting dirty and loving it. Oh, some people just can't stay out of their drawers. I feel like that's some kind of like mine pinup camera. <laughs> Could be. Ooh, looking good, awesome. looking good. Well, that'll be in the uh, next year's uh, Underground Explorers catalog, yeah, probably. But probably not. Anyway, okay. looking good, looking great. You made it down. Congratulations. Ooh, you, you've now lived through the seven deadly quests, and it's just a matter of uh, <laughs> rescuing a princess, saving the treasure, and getting out of here now. Okay, we fought the dragon. Check. Go you ahead. do remember the way out of here, right? Yep. Okay. Ross. Yes. That was the gnarliest mine tour I've ever taken. And I'm, I'm very impressed with my sis. Oh, she was a rock star. She did better than I did. I was freaked out no going comment. down that stuff, but we survived. We did we fine. Did daylight. A 12 year old did it last week. I know, but you know, 12 year olds are 12 year olds. I'm me. You did good. Thank you, Ross. Thank you, Sarah. Woo! Thank you, Eliza. Thank you, viewers. Hope you had as much fun as I did. Of course, then we get outside, and under the sunlight, she throws shade at me. Get this. I'm going to be really so long, but it's like 7.30, and look at this. 
Look at what? Talking to my viewers, Ross. You're t you, all, all my viewers are you viewers. Oh, okay. Well, then they can watch it on my channel. <laughs> wow. Uh, so that was a pretty good mine uh, you know, tour for the day. And Sarah and Eliza both brought their A games, and it was fantastic. And I got to tell you, I was really impressed by the way they both soldiered on and clambered up through there and slid down that stope. And, yeah. Anybody thinks uh, those girls aren't tough, yeah. you come talk to me about it or watch that video again because they were top of the game. So, glad to have them out here again. Glad to call them neighbors and friends. And now it's off to the curl bar for Miner's Mainstay Sandwich and uh, Root Beer Float. See ya. And remember folks, like and subscribe, please. If you like my videos, tell your friends. If you don't like my videos, tell your enemies. Just tell someone and make sure they like and subscribe, please. I'm trying to make a living out here. Thanks and we'll see you next week.